Africa is hosting the rest of Africa in the city of Lagos, the center of excellence. This gesture by the Lagos State Government is in support of the significance of the city to the growth of the industry and its commitment towards the development of the arts and the good work that we here as a group do. This year, the festival is imbibing the theme Indigenous to Global. So, we've also, in that regard, worked with several new countries as well, including Germany, um, Brazil, with the SP Cine organization. Um, we also have NEFT coming on, um, NEFT coming on with their competition this year, which is going to, um, a short film competition, which is going to supply a uh, residency for the winner, as well as cash prize, cash prize for, for yeah, for about $5,000. So that's also something that's great. This year we're really very excited to be opening with the Nigerian film. Um, over the years, it's something we worked really hard to do find the right film that will finally open their brief. Um, we've tried over the years to have one uh, of a certain standard. Um, we, we couldn't find at some point. Uh, we did several things in capacity building and helping filmmakers learn the develop skills and we're very happy with the results. And um, we're really glad to say that this year Nigerian films are leading the park. Um, over the next few hours, um, over the next few hours, I'm, I'm sure you will all start to get newsletters about the films. Our schedule is out. You will see that the lineup is really led by some really public Nigerian films. Um, what we've done for this particular competition, which is next in Nigeria, this is the first time we've come to Nigeria. What we've done for Next in Nigeria is to sort of have a different spin by bringing in a Nigerian judge. So we have Femi Odugemi, um, who's Nigerian, and he's sitting at the time. Um, in addition to that, um, obviously this is the fifth competition in the fourth season. So the last, the winner for the last uh, competition be, then becomes a judge for the next uh, NFT. So the way NFT, the next competition sort of works is, I'll put out the applications from a wide pool of applicants, obviously. We get about 10 participants who then get to pitch virtually to the judges who I, I just mentioned earlier. Um, once the pitch process is done, the three finalists uh, are selected from those 10. The three of them are then given $3,000 each to then go and shoot a short film. Um, obviously, the ones who were selected in Nigeria are shooting, I think they're done shooting, they're editing their films right now. Um, once the three of them are done, uh, the winner will then be selected and given $5,000. In addition to that, we also have an opportunity for one of those three to then win $2,000 for the Audience Choice Awards. Now, for us at Nefty, it's um, very important. I think, I think it's very important that we're a part of AFRIC this year because it's a great opportunity for us to leverage uh, I mean, the largest platform on the continent to also happy to what is happening in Nigeria, the film industry in Nigeria. We actually have trainings that go on during the year. We actually have collaborations with big companies that go on uh, around the year. We just don't announce it. Like we could send some people abroad. People always reach out. We need this, we need that. And I, I'll reach out to other people to say, please, um, let's do this. Afif is doing this. Can you do that? So we do that all the time. We just finished a script to screen for Africa Team Bank slash Canex, and the five people that the five best script writers were flying to Cairo on the 12th. Nobody knows that. They say when you're very busy, you don't have time to talk about what you're doing. I think that's what we do. Yes. Producers on the ground, and, and and you know the simple answer to that is, I want to first start by listening. Because I think it's important to, because I can share a bunch of different stuff, right? And we'd be here for weeks, you know, sharing that, which I would love to do sometime. But like at the same time, is I'm curious about what the specific challenges are, so I can help guide, right? So for example, with Hollywood talent, trying to attract Hollywood talent, um, I would start with Black Hollywood talent first, yes. right? For example, yes. right? But even then. Still, some of the same challenges getting through the gatekeepers of the agencies and the managers and the lawyers and make sure the deal is right. Um, you know, those are things that I definitely want to talk through. Uh, but then the other piece you were asking is sort of how I evaluate 
films, right? Which is something that I do want to share with some of the producers here too, because I think it will help with uh, with quality control and just you know making content that is uh, indigenous but can be made for global markets, right? Yeah. Uh, and it kind of goes back to what Shiamu was saying about screenplays. It's all it starts with the script for me. As far as one value and whether I want to do it or not, it starts with how good the script is. Uh, if the writing style is not great, it's a no. If the concept is not great and marketable, it's a no, right? But let's say that both of those things are positive. Then when it's time to decide how much to make it for or that, or how much I think we should earn from it, right? All of those things come from just instinct and experience, but there's some tricks of the trade I definitely want to share in the master class and then also in the, in the panel too. Steven Love is, he's new. <laughs> <laughs> Samir is new. So in, in, in preparing for the festival, I'll talk about the preparations. Natasha is new. N Latasha is super new. And exactly. And so I'll tell you, we used to handle PR in-house. We are so much bigger. And so we realized we have to do things a bit different. Um, technicals, we used to handle it in-house. We're so much bigger, and so we have to do things different. All the panels speak to something different from the last year. We make sure of that. So last year we talked about finance, how to find finance. This year we're bringing the finance group <laughs> to, to not only say, oh, we have money, because we're tired of hearing that, to say, this is how you get the money and we're giving it now. In fact, I want them to announce one or two people that have gotten that money so that people are encouraged. Um, this year there's something called community over competition, which is going to be my mainstay for a long while. It's great to pull the young ones, but in pulling the young ones up, what are we doing for each other? To also encourage them so that when it's their turn, they do the same for each other too. There's just so much I can't uh, talk about, but I'll tell you something. There's a new um, sponsor on board, the Wigwe University. The Wigwe University is going to be a university of any standard abroad. And they are focused a lot on, of course, the sciences, but they're the first university that would focus on film, the creative arts. And so they're going to be around, they're going to be in different master classes, giving talks, meeting with the young ones, and you know, letting you know how to go about joining the school, what the school is going to be offering for next year. And that is extremely encouraging because if you don't have the continuing education for film, you're just going to be running around in the same circle. And I'm talking continu continuing education. I should even be talking about education because we barely have that here. We have a lot of trainings where we don't have complete education like the rest of the world. Thank you. Um, we're getting there. Um, so what's scripted for us right now is in the focus. You know, we're just excited to have our first Nigerian open film. <laughs> Ever. You understand? So, Ever. And, and not just that we have the Nigerian opening film, the surrounding cast to that film, other films, you know, do really measure up and, will, you know, it's really an exciting week for me personally, you know. So, um, that's where we're at for now. Our script that definitely will definitely come next. This year, the theme is Indigenous to Global, Indigenous 2.0. It was the theme last year, but last year I learned a lot. I learned how unready, if there's a word like that, we are. And so in order to be better prepared, we expanded on our panels, on our judges, on everything we're bringing in to prepare us for that global market. Trust me, next year is going to be called Indigenous 3.0.